Okay. So you've met this real special person and maybe you've been dating for a while or perhaps you've just met and you're wondering, is this the one? Is this my soulmate? I'm going to give you three signs in this video. And if they qualify for three of those signs, three out of three, you met your soulmate. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle. And we're always flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. We are so excited. I mean, we are enthused because we are getting letters three days after we've made it available. Three days that people are receiving miracles. I mean, their relationships are being healed. They're making money that they didn't expect and all kinds of other good things are happening to them. And we've come out with a program called miracles while you sleep, because most of us have counter intentions. You can try this program, give it a shot for 90 days. Miracles while you sleep.com. Check it out. Oh, I'm so excited about miracles while you sleep, but I'm even more excited about you being with your soulmate. When you meet your soulmate, you realize that you have not only a mind connection, you just kind of click mentally, but you have a body connection. You have a soul connection and you have a spirit connection, but at least I don't know, three out of 10 or four out of 10 soulmates, people that have been together for a length of time and really have bonded that soulmate energy together. They, they swear that they've been in past lives together, that this is just part of their journey and that they will be in future lives together. It's just a wonderful story that they tell. So if you're into that energy, if you can feel that energy with the person that you're with, that's a very, very positive sign. So high flyers, I just love the vibration of love. Don't you sign number one, it feels like, what does it feel like? It feels like love at first sight. It feels like bam. I mean, there was no slow burn. It was right there and it was energy and love at first sight. It was incredible connection, incredible super attraction. That's the word super attraction, instant feelings. Ah, yeah. And emotions. That's sign number one. If you've had that experience, then you know what it's like to be on fire, to be filled with passion and joy and excitement. You can't wait till you get up in the morning. You want to stay up all night. You want to talk on the phone when you're not together. You're just magnetized toward each other. This is sign number one that you, yes, you have met your soulmate. You see high flyers, this whole notion of soulmates really comes from some ancient stories that go back to the ancient teachings of the Kabbalah. And it's about how the souls were made masculine and feminine, but in even the masculine soul, there's a feminine part. And even in the feminine soul, there's a masculine part. And what happens when two soulmates get together, their masculine and feminine, feminine and masculine match up perfectly. And you can feel it. It's undeniable. I think that destiny opens up. I know when I met Rachel, I felt a whole new destiny taking place and what a ride it's been. It's been like a crazy roller coaster, but it's been fun. But I felt like a destiny that opened up in my life. And I knew that something was going to change. I didn't know exactly how it was going to change. I had all these years of old beliefs, old habits, 
old ideas, and Rachel just started chipping them away. She's still working on them. You know, I put some of them back from time to time and she, she chips them away. But that's what happens is that you realize you have a destiny now that is bigger than just your own desires. And when we had Julian, I realized my destiny became a huge responsibility because the moment he came out and I looked at him in his eyes, I saw infinity. I saw God. I'll never forget that moment. And that's what happens with soulmates. That's what happens when people are absolutely connected to each other in a deep interpersonal spiritual way. Sign number two, synergy. Everything seems to flow together. Doesn't mean there isn't roadblocks. Doesn't mean there, there aren't obstacles, but, but you tend to find ways to flow together. You manifest together. You enjoy manifesting together. Even if you have separate careers and you're on other parts of the continent, you know, one person's success is another person's success and vice versa. You're not living for yourself anymore. You're living for us and vice versa. It's just a wonderful feeling. And, and a lot of couples don't have that. Oh, we've got our own individuality. You know, I, I come in the back door. She comes in the front door. You know, that's just the way we do it around here. You know, that, that's fine. That may work for some people, but it doesn't work for soulmates. You learn from each other. See, soulmates aren't always smiling at each other. There are times when things get a little tense, but soulmates learn from each other. Soulmates are here to teach each other life lessons and to share those life lessons. It's just a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful experience. I don't know how to describe it. It's beyond words. And sign number three, oh, this is big. You share a vision of future dreams and future lives together. It's not just about this moment. What are we going to do this week? Where are we going on vacation this month? It's about a whole journey. It's about a whole life. And then it's about perhaps the next life, setting up for the next life and the life after that. You don't have exactly the same dreams, but you have similar dreams. And so it's easy to not just marry your bodies together, but to marry your souls and your dreams together. That's what soulmates are all about. Hmm. Wonderful. Those are three signs. I know if you have at least three out of three, you've absolutely discovered your soulmate. So high flyers. Now, you know, they're your soulmate. So here's, how to enhance the relationship and to keep it new and exciting and fresh for the rest of your life. Forgive and cleanse. What I mean by forgive and cleanse is forgive each other and then cleanse away the negative energy. I don't care how you do it through prayer, through gratitude, through uh, incensing, through ritual, but you've got to have some kind of cleansing ritual or some kind of cleansing method that works on your relationship on a regular basis. Cause from time to time it will need forgiveness and you will need to be cleansed, develop rituals that are your own. So there are church rituals, there are family rituals, there are seasonal rituals. But I think that two people who are on their own journey, on their own path together, I think they need their own rituals. I can't tell you what they, what they should be or what they are, but you create your own, your own little rituals. Number three, this is, this is critical, critical. Listen to me. Don't you turn out right now. Be honest and trustworthy because 
once trust is destroyed, it's like, it's a bitch to try to rebuild your relationship. So don't ever break trust. Be true to yourself. Be true to your partner. Be true to your relationship. Four, look for opportunities to express love. There's opportunities all the time. There's never a moment when the two of you can't be expressing love to each other. And number five, be loyal. Yeah. Loyalty. It's an old fashioned quality that hasn't lost its, uh, its power. It means a lot. So be loyal to yourself in your journey. Be loyal to your partner. Be loyal to the relationship. Be loyal to your family. Here's some other journeys that will help you on your. <laughs> okay. Here's some other videos to help you on your journey.